everybody welcome to my channel how y'all doing today miss v is here today uh today i want to talk about um bill collectors telemarketers or whatever y'all call yourself service um customer service representative whoever but anyway so i had a situation where i went i i chose not to pay a bill it was like a financial company where i had got this little personal loan from so anyway, I had a situation where something happened and I had to use the money for something that was more important to me. And so they called me. Now, mind you, the bill, it might have been a day late. Never been late on the bill. Been dealing with them for over five, six, seven, eight, probably ten years. So they called. This is a friendly reminder that your um, payment is passed due. I understand. I mean, I said, okay, I, I'm fine with them doing that. They got to do their job. I understand they got to do their job. Let me go ahead and do a disclaimer. If any of my supporters, if, if y'all do this type of work, I'm not going to apologize um, for the things I say. If you are guilty of this, then I'm talking about you too. But Miss VC, I love you, but I'm just saying. I don't discriminate. Supporters, non-supporters, family, friends, no matter if it's one of my children, I'm talking about them too. If, if, if you are this type of um, customer service rep. So anyway, so back to the story. So they called to give me a friendly reminder. Okay, I already know I'm late. Okay, I understand you're doing your job. Let's go and get that out of the way. I know they have to do their job. Okay, that's not what this video is about. This video is about how I feel about the way they do their job. Okay, okay, so I'm late. I ain't got no problem with it. I can admit I was late making a payment. Okay, so let me ask y'all a question. If you're in a situation where you need to make a payment on a bill, not a bill for your housing or anything else, just extra bill like this bill, finance bill, and you and your car breaks down, what you gonna do? You gonna get your car fixed or you gonna pay them? Or you gonna go in your savings if you got the savings or you gonna pay them? I mean, what you, what you gonna do? So anyway, I, that's the decision I had to make. There's no reason why I had to get on a debt-free journey because if I would have had savings and stuff um, set aside like I was, I, I was supposed to, then I wouldn't be having these different um, situations arise. So, okay, so I did make the payment. I went ahead and did whatever I had going on. So they called, said they just a friendly reminder. Um, blase, blase. Do you know when you're gonna have the money? No, ma'am, I don't. As soon as I get the money up, I will pay y'all. You you think I like not paying y'all? I don't wanna mess my credit up. Even though my debt ratio is already too high, but still, I, I want to keep good credit if I can, okay? So she proceeded to just keep on talking. Well, ma'am, do you mind me asking what's going on? I said, what you mean what's going on? Life. Well, ma'am, I can't write life on the paper. I said, why can't you? You don't know how to spell it? L-I-F-E. What you mean you can't write life on the paper? So what you supposed to write on the paper? Okay, I don't have the money, so you can't write that on the paper. So so what what other things can you write on the paper? Y'all, please enlighten me. If y'all are a customer service representative, can you tell me the criteria? What can you write down on the paper? Okay, write down that she does not have the money. You can't write life, so write down she does not have the moment, money at this time. And so I thought that was very unprofessional of her to ask me what's going on because, number one, you don't care. Number two, at the end of this conversation, you still want your money. So I kind of got offended. Well, I didn't mean to offend you. Well, you did offend me. I don't care what you meant to do. You did offend me, woman. Um, I'm trying to get the money just like you trying to get the money from me. So anyway, I said, let me calm down. Okay, I don't need me getting upset because I ain't got the money, so I don't need me getting upset. Okay, so she said, well, let me let, I'm going to let you talk to my supervisor. I'm thinking to myself, what the supervisor going to do? So the supervisor, he came on, gave him a little spiel. I said, sir, no disrespect. There's no purpose of you even talking to me. <clears throat> You might well go in this conversation. I said, because I didn't have the money when I talked to your um co-worker. And I'm not going to have the money when we finish this conversation. Well, ma'am, I was just trying to see if there are any other options we can have. Okay, we got two options. Number one, you can pay the bill for me and I'll pay you back. And number two, we can end this conversation because y'all making me upset. That's all I got to say. I said, what I need you to do, sir, is look at my record, pull my name up, and see how long I have been dealing with you all, and tell me on one hand, no, tell me on one finger how many times I've been late. I'll wait. Well, I'm not trying.
trying to upset, but you too late. You not ready to upset me. One little payment. One. I ain't talking about no six months. I ain't talking about no three years. One payment. I know they doing their job. I understand you doing your job. But to me, once I've told you that I don't have the money, anything after that is harassment. That's all I got to say about it. That's all I got to say about it. And I'm through with it. So that's all I want to come on here and just talk to y'all. Do y'all feel like it's harassment after a person have told you that they do not have the money? The conversation needs to end. The phone needs to be hung up. I mean, I've hung up on them, but they still call. And I did say bye, so I wasn't rude. I said, I'm going to go ahead and end this conversation because me talking to you is not going get to you, get you the money. When, as soon as I get the money, you will get your payment. Why harass people who had one incident and couldn't make a payment? You think I'm just going to walk around and, and my car tow up or I got emergency in the family to pay y'all? No, I am not. Yes, I am a little upset. Yes, I am. That's why I came on him. Because I want to talk. Because I feel like I can talk to y'all. I know y'all have been in the situation before. But the thing about it is I don't like when the telemarketer or whatever y'all, I don't even know y'all title. I don't like when they try to get small. Don't be trying to get small with me because, see, number one, there's no purpose of us, like my pal said, if if there's if no one is going to grow from the situation, there's no point in having a conversation. So hey, there's no point in me keep talking to you back and forth, a answering your ignorant questions that you ask asking me. When are you going to have the money? Okay, I don't know when I'm going to have it. I'm going to have it when I have it. What you mean when I'm going to have it? I'm going to have it when I have it. Whenever I get it, that's when you will get it. Like I'm going to say, September the 14th, 1992. I don't know the date I'm going to have it. I'm in a situation where I chose not to pay y'all and I chose to do something else with my money. Quite naturally, the next time I get paid, I'm going to try to pay y'all. But for you to ask me that dumb question, whoo. But anyway, so like I was saying, I, re I realized there was no reason for me to keep talking to them. How many times do I have to tell you I don't have the money? I ain't going to tell you, but one time I already told you. So like I told him, look at my record. Ma'am, I understand that you, you're you right. You've never been late. I know I've never been late. So why are you harassing me? Go get some of these folks who ain't never, don't never pay their bills on time. Go call some of them. Don't be calling me. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Ain't got no problem with y'all doing y'all job. Ain't got no problem. I do not have a problem with y'all doing y'all job. But at the point where you ask the person about the money and they tell you they don't know when they're going to have it, the conversation should end right there. That's all I got to say. Hang up the phone. Tell your um supervisor I called Miss such and such and she said she ain't had the money. That's it. What? You ain't going to get your raise or something? What? Why you can't tell them that? Why you got to keep calling folks? I already know I owe y'all and then y'all think it's slick, but um Miss V ain't no fool. I see y'all. See, I know y'all often know how to block that, so I don't need me keep talking to y'all. I know how to make the payment. I know how to go online and make the payment. I know how to come in there and make the payment. So I don't point y'all keep calling me every week. So y'all think you slick. You call from your cell phone. I don't know your cell phone number, so get where I feel ain't answering that. Ain't no point of me answering all these numbers. I do not know. If it's for a job, they'll leave a message. That's how I feel about it. If they want me to work for them. So other than that, if they know my family, friends, somebody that number, I know I ain't answering it. I'm sending you straight to the voicemail because, I mean, ain't no point of me just picking up the phone, hanging up on you. That's rude. Ain't no, I just rather not answer the phone. You're going to not answer the phone. I'm going to send you to the voicemail. You leave a message. Tell me to call you. I'm not going to call you because I ain't got the money. Ain't no point of me calling you. So when I, as soon as I get the money, you'll get your money. That's all I got to say. If Vinny came on here and just want to talk because it don't make no sense to me, and let me ask y'all a question. This is the question for the video. Do you feel like it's a wreck? Well, do you feel like a harassment once the telemarketer or customer service that representative asks you Okay. This video, let me calm down y'all because y'all always seem mad. I'm going to start having my chit chat more calm. Do you feel like it's harassment once you told the person you do not have the money, you do not know when you're going to get the money, and they stay asking you dumb questions and calling you? I feel like it's harassment. Some of y'all going to say they doing their job. Okay, you already did your job. You already called me. Don't call me no more. But anyway, that's going to end this video. And this is Ms. V. I'm going to show you love and encourage you, and I'm going to help you save on some of the things you need to get some of the things you want. Thank you, and have a nice day. I'm going to go out there and make these folks money so I can make, them, make this payment. Bye.